Hawk doesn't have to change much. I just sum it up again for people who are tuning in late. Arcane Towers got weakened. They drain less mana per shot. On the other side, Night Elf regenerate more mana in the Moon Worlds. The Keeper can summon Treants for cheaper. Uh, and that's it for the early game. And it is, of course, a Keeper. Rise of a Keeper here today. That seems noticeable. So, so far, the developments. Orc tried to implement Torrin to varying degrees. Keeper seems set. No, Night Elves seem set on Keeper in the human matchup. Uh, humans don't change much. And Night Elves go pot him in the mirror match. That is so far a player's forces are what we know. Am I right? So have a fall again. Nobody's surprised, oftentimes a neutral map. A town is under siege. And then we'll see how much impact this has. Maybe Pato's still under the effects of one or two Kaipirinia earlier today. Who knows? But clearly, whatever he did, didn't work. So, natural creep on the golem. Hawk is doing the same. He played this versus part of two. And then decided... Oh my god, he gets the claw again? And loses a worker. Didn't we buff the peasants enough? Pato's demise was an archmage with claw and gloves. Will that happen to Aspect 2? Hey, Appreciate that. So uh, one player is losing the workers, the other player is losing the Ancient of War. <laughs> Ouch. Last hit! Keep it with the claw now as well. Nice. Also, mana looking good. If the poison spreads to the footies, that's kind of bad news. But Aspect. Maybe. Gloves best item now? No. Not early game. Always hero dependent. There's no expo. There's just a tech. On Hawk's side, there's a tech as well. With that tech advantage, you might be fine. A player's forces are under attack. Gloves are a crazy late game item, though. Is it noticeable that the Keeper has more mana at this stage in the game? Hard to say when... Ah, oh, Moonwells are quite empty. Do you see the faster regeneration rate? Do you feel it? Actually, I don't. Some stuff is just visible. Like the Gloves impact, even though it's just 5%. Or the bottom Steering Arrow impact, even though it's just 2 damage. But Moonwell regen... I don't see it. Maybe it's because I never pay close attention. I'm never... I, I, I don't watch Night of Bases long enough for that to matter. A player's forces are under attack. But do other Night Elves see it?
E. There, the classic hawk items are back with a double ring. Let's go. Yeah, apart from the arcane tower that we don't even see because the aspect is not uh, pushing aggressively. And not playing emulation or anything. This matchup, from the human perspective, hasn't changed much. Man, Treant uptime is pretty brilliant, isn't it? Can aspect hold? A player's forces are under attack. One basic might be responsible for trillions. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, balance changes that are affecting human units or buildings aren't really noticeable. As we see, probably no knights, really. Nice little engagement. Three water elementals, though. That was a big investment. Oh, absolutely, absolutely noticeable is Breath of Fire 2. I feel like Hawk can continue to push. Oh, he's just spamming two entangles on all these treants. Nice. He ran straight into that meat grinder. Is he at 5 out of 5? Oh no, he forgot Wisp production for a bit. He could have had these Wisps a lot faster. But Hawk is still forced into a retreat. That wasn't really impactful, was it? Aspect might do it! Hawk doesn't have the spell, it just started now! Mana is low now, and it's still daytime for a long time. Aspect decides, continuing to brawl is what he wants to do. Because there's another entangle, and when there's another entangle, there's another kill. Bro, what the hell? What the hell? Two more meaningful kills and militia time forced. While this expo is up. Are under attack. He got the dispel up. Playing super aggressive. Dude, what is happening? Hawk is down a base, down fifth. Dean food. This can't overpace now. He is out of ammo, basically. And he didn't take tier 3 yet. It's just Dryad's first rifles. A player's forces are under attack. Does Hawk even know about the expo? Yeah, I think so. Otherwise, he wouldn't have fought at the lab. He just had no chance. He just ran into Entangle, 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 Entangle. Problem is, rifles can still gun down Dryads quite quickly. Trying to get out of harm's way with Banish. Ah, there's a, there might be a chance for Hawk. If he fights a lot better than Aspect does. But it's also one of his last chances.
I've been on Little Rock apparently. How long has Aspect been playing so well? Dude, we are all surprised. We are all surprised. Blood Mage is turning the tide though. Four and three. Fascinating how Hawk is pushing forward now. Now it's nighttime. Finally, light time. And here's the scroll of the beast. And still, no bears, no MGs. Uh, can he go for mana potions, maybe? Aspect is exposing the dryads too much. Yep, rifle power, baby! Banish, banish saves. Keep a level 4, but that doesn't change too much, I guess. And Hawk turned the tide indeed. Ah, poor aspect. A bit slow with the Wisp production. And not having a tech just broke his neck. GG! Hawk takes it! At least the first one. That was a good shot for him! He played very aggressive and he had good success with it. But then he ran out of mana and Dryas vs. Rifles, man, they just don't cut it. You just don't cut it. But not without chances. Not without chances. Panda was useless? I don't think so. Panda had good impact in the middle. I think he got a bit greedy there. Kinda understandable. Maybe still on a high from the win against Dice. And then the mid game fight at the lab was working so well. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. So, second chance. Autumn Leaves. Lots of playtime for Autumn Leaves, which is... Uh, interesting given that it's never played in Chinese tournaments. So, try again. Will Hawk go for an expo this time? The easiest expo outside of Tide Hunters, I think. Feels like he didn't manage to delay Hawk enough and just went for the big fight instead. I think if he pulls back further after the lab creep, instead of going aggressively after him, that would be good, no? And then of course this expo started mining way too late as well. Rush Panda 3. See? Such a brilliant mind for the game, Kevin. <laughs> Alright, Keeper again. This seems to be set in stone. As long as the Treants cost 85 mana, Keeper it is. A player's forces are under attack. Did people experiment with Warden? Since the Moonwell region is kind of back. You can reveal your Night of Smurf on Letter now, it's okay. Okay. If you change two letters 
in the name Kaho and add a new one and remove one. Then it says Neo. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I added the K inspired by my great uh, teacher and mentor Kevin. I'd love to see Aspect being successful here, to be honest. This is Luther's choice now. Hmm. Three farms. Lots of workers. Nice! We see a human expansion. This is the first human versus Night expansion that we see, right? Circlet Claws, not bad. Yeah, Aspect has to do quite some damage here. No tower up, no town hall up. He's hitting the timing quite nicely. But Archmage Footman, these arches just don't cut it. Keeper has to do it by himself. Hawk is attacking instead. Was just creeping. Seeing this little harbor here. Little shipyard. Shout out once again to the one person on the Battle.net forum. While everybody is up in arms and discussing balance and damage values and stuff, he's just like... Can we do something about the ships? <laughs> Fantastic, dude. I love it. Hawk might be expecting an expansion, but doesn't find one. Tech by aspect is obviously far ahead. Whee. Dondo, what do you think about removing Searing Arrows from the pot and adding a heal spell since, since she's a priestess and priest seal, you know? How about we let the human priest spawn little Timmies? Would that go too far? Oh! Is it, cl Is it closed? Now it's closed! Need Shadow Metal, but there's a reveal. Nice escape by Hawk. Aspect with a solid retreat, saving everything, but despite the Moonwell buff, this is gonna be expensive. I'm already practicing my sheep imitations for the polymorph. Light Echo! Thank you very much for the Prime! Yo, ha Hakuk Zero, thank you for playing yesterday. You played Aspect yesterday? He defeated Dice today. So, no shame in losing to him. Blood Mage Demon. Forces are under attack. We've seen a couple of expo attempts by Starbuck yesterday, but apart from that, pretty one base heavy. Also aspect today, of course.
Yeah, Hawk looks good. Lining up the 50 aspect, still waiting for the tier 3. And then at some point the rifle push hits, right? And then we gotta see. Oh, mana stone, fantastic. So much mana to work with. Brilliance aura, siphon, and mana stone. Yep. A player's forces are under attack. Aspect isn't ready. Not at all. And here's the push. Ooh, does the keeper help in this situation? Do the Moonwells help in this situation? Not this one, that's for sure. Oh, empty him, empty it! <sighs> Bit chaotic situation here, I guess. A Aspect facing elimination. If Hawk's push goes through, he goes through. Oh, two Moonwells with 300 mana just deleted. And then, of course, it doesn't help that much. Demon Hunter is level 3, though. Bears are here, but what's not here is the bear master training. They can't fight just yet. Three water elementals. Usually, plants and trees like to be watered, but it's a bit too much pressure. Staff, right into the arms of Hawk. The talents, I guess, that is. And this unwinnable. This situation seems unwinnable. And I guess this is uh, Hawk is the roadblock. Aspect had a chance to win game one, for sure. But rifle cast is still strong. Hawk made a good decision to not expand, I guess. As Aspect figured him out quite nicely. And then it was a tech. It was a delayed tech. And then he just knocks him out. This was... This was quite a push, eh? Rifles. Still playable. Hawk's a bully? For sure. Aspect one against dice. Yep. Very nice positive surprise here today. Supply gap. Not necessarily narrowing. Here comes sorceress, but uh, no need for polymorph on these heroes. Twing. GG. Hawk in the final. Pretty convincingly, actually. I guess versus Dice it would have been a bit closer, maybe. But Aspect earned that spot. Needs a little bit of experience, I guess.